Welcome to another episode here at Deep Mountain Security. Today I want to go over a method of finding out in-depth information about your system on a Windows 10 computer. So this little utility, and I, this is really useful for a lot of things, I'll show you why. Uh, it's called MS Info 32. Um, so you can get to this from the command line. Uh, there's a couple other ways to get to it too. If you go through the control panel, uh, system and security, um, administrative tools, and then system information, that'll take you there too. Uh, but anyways, I found it fastest to go through the run box. And what this is gonna do is when you're troubleshooting and looking for specific issues for your hardware, software, whatever it be, um, you kind of want to know a little bit more about it and uh, you, you know, you're going to need certain pieces of information like um, uh, specific build numbers, specific model and um, software versions and, uh, you know, in-depth information that can sometimes be hard to get from just looking at your application and going, hmm, what do I have here? I don't really know, you know. Um, so this is going to give you some in-depth information about your system, maybe not Firefox per se, <laughs> uh, but, you know, you're going to get a lot of stuff here. Uh, so we can see by just by pulling it up, we've already got quite a bit of information here. Um, what kind of operating system we're running, uh, the specific version and build number, um, other information, system name, uh, who made the system, you know, processor BIOS, um, d different modes and BIOS settings and stuff like that, uh, memory properties and whatnot, virtualization, um, hypervisor's been detected, um, uh, then we can go down through individual um, components on your system. So, you know, we can go down and see what kind of hardware we've got running at different levels. Uh, we can see specifically, you know, what's plugged in where and what's connected to what, what's running how and where and everything like that. Um, so you're going to see we've got all our different parts of our motherboard, uh, different things that are connected at different places. Um, we've got our PCIe ports and our PCI bus and... Um, uh, different things that are connected here and there. We've got our keyboard and mouse and whatnot, uh, system speaker. Um, we can go down through the IRQs and kind of take a look at these, although you're generally not going to find a lot of super helpful information in here. You might find something, you know, maybe about your network or something, though. Um, so you never know. Uh, memory. Um, here's, you know, all the different parts of memory and stuff like that. Um, adapters and stuff like that. Uh, then you can go down through individual hardware components um, and you can see what kind of codecs you've got running on your system. Now this is kind of interesting if you're trying to troubleshoot audio visual stuff and you're like hmm I can't you know run the specific thing or whatever uh, I don't know why you know you can kind of look in and kind of see what version of codecs you're running and stuff like that kind of get a little bit more information, you know, can be kind of useful sometimes. Um, you know, you can go through your different peripherals that you most likely have attached, maybe not. Um, I don't actually have infrared, so it doesn't show up. <laughs> not very many computers have infrared anymore, you know. That's just not something we need. Um, or a modem, for that matter. But you're going to see if I go to network, here's my network adapter. Um, look, you know, all the different information about the specific adapter and adapters I suppose I've got a number of them here it looks like uh, protocols uh, just you know different networking things different ports drives if I you know had a serial port plugged in or something uh, com one here for example and you know it's gonna say here you got something plugged in um, yeah and you go through all kinds of stuff here so you know uh, not a very long video tonight but um, oh here's something that's really cool uh, environment variables so these are going to include things like path you know if something's added to path and who gets it um uh different kinds of things that you can run from path without needing to type an extension i believe that's what that for don't quote me on it though um processor specific information um where temporary files are stored etc and there's our you know command terminal thing uh, if we had print jobs running you'd see them here here's all my current system drivers that are loaded i believe um and running 
and how they're started and whether or not they're started. Okay, so it looks like most of them aren't running, but anyways, uh, any network connections I might have, running tasks, so this is going to be similar to what you see in Task Manager, except you've kind of got like uh, working sets now and some other different things that you don't get um, in Task Manager priority and whatnot. Uh, any modules I might have loaded. Um, well, wow, it's taking quite a while to load. Uh, services that are either, you know, in their states. Uh, groups of programs, you know. So, you know, a bunch of different things could be in the same group. Uh, startup programs, here's things that are currently scheduled to start, you know, in for starting up and stuff like that. It looks like some of these are actually running specific commands. You know, that's kind of interesting. You don't always, I don't know, I was able to see that specifically. Um, OLE registration and then Windows error reporting. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, and some good stuff in here. Um, fault bucket. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. But anyways, so, yeah, just an easy little application that's not that complex to use and fairly simple and um, can really kind of help you find information about your system when you're trying to troubleshoot and you need in-depth details. Uh, it's also got a nice little find utility here. We can go, you know, let's find anything to do with printing, um, see what it finds, you know. So it's going to search through everything in here. Uh, fax, print to PDF, XPF. So it looks like it found some drivers. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, we could also, you know, refresh if we wanted to change things. Uh, and we could even like save our current system information uh, or open a system information file up, you know, if we wanted to, um, you know, compare before and after we install or mess with settings. Um, so just, 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 bleh, just a simple utility, uh, useful for finding all kinds of interesting things out about your system. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.